you've probably never seen before. Whoa. So they look like mini watermelons, right? But you open it up and it's a cucumber. It even got the seeds. I was expecting the inside to be red. Y'all just did me a bamboozle. You guys might have seen this in another video, but here we have a big round jelly circle. You shave it with this special device, and that's how noodles are born. Oh wow, fresh noodles straight off the block. Do you just not like the taste of milk? Well, apparently they had flavored milk, and I'm not talking about chocolate and strawberry. They got frosted flake flavored milk, cinnamon crunch, and peanut butter. So your milk can taste like your cereal, but wet, not crunchy. I feel like if more people knew this existed, they would buy it. I had no idea this was a thing, but I also don't trust powdered milk. It come from old cows. You squeeze the udder, milk dust pop out, and that's how you have powdered milk. Just kidding, it's not. Here we got bacon soda. Ugh. You see, I imagine this to taste like bacon grease mixed with sparkling water. Make sure you add your daily dose of sugar to make it all fine. I don't know about this one, Chief. So this same company has a bunch of other weird flavors. Oh, they have a ranch soda. Grass soda, pickles, oh, but no. Mm -mm, that's a hard pass for me. Oh, but it gets worse. Hagen Daz not only makes healthy ice cream, they got vegetable ice cream? Veggie ice cream? What is this abomination? Tomato ice cream? Oh, I just imagined this to taste like frozen baby food. That looks gross. I mean, at least mix it in with some fruit. Wait, is there fruit? Oh, yeah, there's an orange. I don't know about the tomato, though. Carrot and orange ice cream sorbet. That probably is pretty good. Avocado ice cream. I've seen this before. Personally, I don't like avocado as a dessert. It's just, it don't make sense to me. I like it with toast. I like it with salt and pepper, but sweet and frozen? Nah. But also, when I went to the Asian market, not only did they have avocado ice cream, but they had cheese ice cream. This is a huge thing. I'm not talking about cheesecake ice cream, right? Cause that's delicious. It's this. I don't know. You know, maybe I would like it. Oh, but it has real cheese bits in the ice cream. I ain't about that. Smash like if you guys want to see me try these weird flavors of ice cream. Cause that sounds pretty fun. I don't want to diss these flavors existence before I even try them. <sighs> pizza flavored ice cream. Okay, I went to this pizza place once and they had mashed potato and gravy flavored ice cream and I was too scared to try it. People will make anything into ice cream. Where the shrimp flavored ice cream at? Oh! In Canada, they have a pizza and spaghetti slushy. Self serve. So is this sweet? Is it salty? Is it crusty? Is it musty? What's a spaghetti slushy even taste like? If you feel a real adventurous today, you can mix them up. Have a pizza getty slushy. Disgusting. Cheetos got a burger flavor? What? Is this even the legit Cheetos? I mean, the logo look legit. Is that Chester? He ain't going for the cheese. He going for the bun. I'm not gonna lie, this looks bomb. Why don't they have this in America? I feel like this would be a big hit. Make it spicy. Oh, also an avocado flavored Cheetos. They do sound healthy though. For the vegan in your life. I don't think I've ever had something avocado flavored. This got me thinking, someone on TikTok said avocado tastes like clean and every time I think of avocado, I think about that. What? Mountain Dew has chips? Are these chips or noodles? Mountain Dew Cheetos, they did a collab. What was this? What do they taste like? Are they salty? Are they sweet? Are they both? Can they do the do inside your mouth a -roo? Okay, I know Kit Kat has a lot of different flavors. They want to like really appeal to everybody's taste buds. But corn flavored Kit Kat? I mean, if it tastes like popcorn, that's fine. But like, that look like charred barbecue corn. And I ain't trying to have that on my candy. It's even yellow like popcorn. That's very unusual. But not as unusual as this pancake soda. So do it taste like the pancake or the syrup or the butter or perhaps the whole entire bite with a little bit of everything. You know, I just prefer to eat something instead of drink something that tastes like it. Also, I feel like this is carbonated. So just like imagine drinking a bubbly pancake. Pringles too, they got so many exotic flavors in other countries. Here we got sour cream and onion, and then they got soft shell crab, seaweed flavor, grilled shrimp, and it's pink, the chips are pink. What? 
I thought they only come in one color. Apparently not. They don't even got chicken flavored ramen Pringles. Oh, they're only limited time, but that sounds bomb. It's like they took the flavor packet from the ramen and they just sprinkled the chips with it. That is genius. I'm surprised this wasn't like super popular. Hey, Pringle man, you're gonna have to bring this one back. So a lot of brands that you see every day, they have different flavors that you've probably never seen before in other countries. Like Cuba, they got a mint mojito, Pepsi. Lay's chips, they got a mint mischief. Mint chips? I mean, they got all sorts of flavor chips, but like, I, I don't know about mint. Oh, it's like mint and lime and they spicy? Wait, that sounds bomb. Mischievous indeed. Pepsi cappuccino flavor. What? Wait, so is it a coffee or is it a soda? Cause you can't have both together. Soda coffee, is that a thing? No, as a coffee connoisseur, I've never heard of it. That does sound pretty good though. They have so many weird flavors of Oreos that I did not know about. They got a green tea ice cream flavored Oreo. Swedish fish flavored Oreos. Name a more ambitious crossover. So it's like Oreo cream, but Swedish fish flavor, but they ain't got much flavor to begin with. That's why this is so confusing to me. But that's not all. They have watermelon Oreos too. And they're green and red. Whoa, where do you even get this from? They don't even contain watermelon. What are they even made of? Christmas colors and lies. So in China, there's this really fancy dish called the 100 year old egg. It's an egg that's been aged for 100 years? Ugh. Sorry, that does not look edible. So these are made by preserving chicken or duck egg for 100 years. Or a couple of weeks, tell them it's been aged 100 years, they'll never know the difference. That does not look appetizing at all. It looks stinky. But apparently, it's a delicacy. I'm so confused right now. I thought these were corn kernels for a sec. They're Tic Tacs, but they're yellow and they have Homer Simpson's face on them and they're donut flavor. But do they got jelly on the inside is the real question. Are they the ones that you chew and then it turns to gum? Oh my God, these are so confusing. Need to try this. And now we got popcorn flavored Tic Tac. Pipoca is popcorn. I thought you were supposed to pop a Tic Tac to make your breath fresh, not buttery and dank. It's gonna make it smell worse. Can you pop them like popcorn? So in Asia, shrimp flavored things are like super popular. They got Funyuns. They're still onion flavored rings, but add shrimp. So shrimpy onion flavored. Okay, that doesn't sound that bad. I like how they make all the shrimp flavored stuff pink. More appetizing. <laughs> that we talking. Charcuterie flavored Doritos? What? This don't even look like Doritos. Where's your big old logo? This looks like dog food. You know how dog food puts all the meat that they use on the front and then it's got like the two colors? <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't like this. Bolognese flavored Lay's. Oh my god, it rhymes. It's perfect. Bolognese like the pasta, like tomato and meat. Bolognese Lay's. I feel like that's the only reason they made this happen. The words just flow. This one restaurant has an avocado burger bun and the bun is green. It's like a nasty patty in real life. Those buns do be looking thick though. In Japan, they have white Pepsi. Only the purest of Pepsi before they put the dang food coloring in it. Wait, is this yogurt flavored? Yogurt flavored Pepsi? Whoa, I did not know such a drink exists. I can't even imagine what this tastes like. TV static yogurt in liquid form. I don't know. Oh, in Starbucks in Japan, they have a coffee jelly frappuccino. Coffee jelly is exactly what it sounds like. So it's kind of like boba, but it's pieces of coffee flavored jelly in the frappuccino. And it's actually really good. Okay, but why don't they have it here? I thought this was photoshopped at first, but they got cotton candy cheese balls. I thought those only came in cheese flavors. So they're sweet and crunchy? Whoa, they're not cheese flavor. Cotton candy flavor, what is this, witchcraft? They do be looking good though. I love the cotton candy flavor stuff. Wait, they got cucumber flavored Sprite? Lemon lime cucumber, that sounds fancy. It's like when you go to a fancy hotel and they got that water in the lobby with the cucumbers and the lemon. This is a soda for me. Wait, this makes no sense at all. A grapple? It crunches like an apple. It looks like an apple, but it tastes like a grape? Okay, but why is this monkey snowboarding? Wait, so it's made of apple and natural and artificial grape flavor? So they just like injected the apple with some artificial grape flavor? Is that how it works? You know, they say apple a day keeps the doctor away. I just didn't like the taste of apples. We made a grapple. What? This product is just as confusing as this monkey snowboarding on the packaging. 
I don't know if this would be good or gross. All of these candy bars have a milkshake version. You can get a Snickers shake, Twix, Skittles. That's like sounds kind of weird. A Skittles milkshake? I don't know. I like how they all just chill and buy the actual yogurt smoothies. Here come the candy bars. Ruining our health aisle. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, the face. Comment below, let me know which one of these foods I should try. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.